Welcome back to Magical Women. I'm your host, Connie Boyd, and this week I'm speaking with Juliana Chen, and this is part two of our conversation. What was your worst magic disaster, and what did you learn from it, and how did you recover? Now we all have them, <laughs> many. <laughs> two things.、Um, In I performance a lot in、uh, in variety in the small theater in Germany since after 1997 I went to、uh, visit you know and、uh, I have a lot of time、um, have one person、um, coming I always make a mistake every time he come I make a mistake I don't know why so one day they call me I、uh, I'm coming to the show I said okay in the early morning I make everything prepared everything I want to make complete. Good. So anyway, I did everything is perfect. Before I know that, check everything is good. So I、uh, when I doing the of the mask change, I go you know punch on my face, and then I go behind the curtain. I have my car manipulation costume coming out. I go go through, and I feel、oh, something wrong. I feel a little cold. <laughs> What happened? It's I look. Oh shit! I, I forgot my underwear. <laughs> But this it's difficult because I mean, when you're doing a manipulation, it's a quick change. I have、uh, my ties, my loads, my underwear, and also have other costumes. Right. I at this moment I thinking because when I doing the mask and for the cards beginning, the lights is very dark, right? When I start shooting the cards, the lights complete. I just see my mind in this moment. I have doing the show. I said, "Can I just stop it there?" Or continue? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was asked very quick. Then I I completely finished the show. Then after that, I said, "Oh shit! What kind of show I did?" I don't know. Audience can see or not see because the distance between the audience and the stage also the all lights. Right. Maybe doesn't see, but this you have to think about it. Yeah, and this feeling of that you know, and you have to act like it's okay. <laughs> Just remember, sometimes if you make a mistake on the stage, you have to be no audience probably doesn't know it. Right, audience even it's not the bigger thing. Like one time, I、um, I was in a Dick Foster show in Lake Tahoe、uh-huh. in Paris. Yeah, it's a fantasy.、Oh, yeah. I was twenty eight. The world famous、uh, skaters. The company the show is a skate, but the Harris Hotel and those Dick Foster they like me, so they bring me in the show. So they take the audience both side the twenty four seats, take it out, build a stage out of the ice. Yes, yeah. So the main curtain is my backdrop.、Uh-huh. The front build a stage for me doing the magic. So. I、uh, I shoot at this moment. I shoot the cards very very far, very very far. Because that's in 1994. I have no experience for working with a big show in America.、Yeah. In China, I just shoot very far. So then、uh, very very far. So anyway, I would do this show and off the couple shows one day, and I had some fans like me very much.、Right. So one day off to the show. And the security people all come to the stage. Tell me, Mrs. Juliana, somebody got a paper cut. Oh no! Somebody got a paper cut. It's、uh, cutting here because the, I use the plastic cuts for shoot. And the looking my small hand, I'm very strong. They really got a cut. And、uh, so we do two shows a night. The second show, um, you know, then I got the first show. They tell me. The second show, I was a little bit be careful, so I shoot. Now I got a learning experience for the for the work.、Mm-hmm. I don't shoot the front way; I shoot high.、Right. If high, the picture is beautiful and the follow down is no power. But the off the tonight, the second show, after the show, the security coming again. Somebody got hurt again, hurt the eyeball. <sighs> so they、um, they stop my performance like a week. Okay. So in this week, I'm really nervous. I think, but for myself, I know the second show is no chance because I make my cards higher.、Right. I take, I talking the lawyer, I talking the ticket faster, I talking the producer, talking the hotel. 
I said, impossible. Right. So one week, and uh, so then offered they want me back to work. Means the it's not true. There was nine up for the second show. Right. And the the first one got very hurt talking to the boyfriend. And uh, so the guy was hurt. The hotel not the equipment for checking the ice. That's why they have to send the ambulance to the to the hospital. Right. So I was nervous. So then yeah. after one week, the director says, "Okay, Juliana, you're back to work." So this day, I make a big mistake. I um I forgot to load my cards. I complete. I only have in total performance. I have 16, 16 loads. Right. I only loaded the first two, oh. which are big fanning cards. You know, right. I do the fan. I do the fan, and then I put the fan together. And the one fan, I suppose, make this fan disappear. Change the confetti. Right. Uh, well, I, I want to make it disappear. At this time, my hand. I have to get ready for the next one. Have no cards in the bag. <laughs> like this, not nothing. <laughs> so what can I do? I was, you know, I have eight minutes on stage. Right. So anyway, in this moment, I, I'm so calm. Mm-hmm. I'm so calm. I take this 60 cards. There's two, two funding cards, 30 for each hand. Right. I put it together, I change the color. Then I go back upon one by one. 30 times in this hand, 30 times in the other hand. Oh my goodness. I keep my smiling, I keep my movement. I fill up the, the complete show. After, after the show couldn't open, I just like a... I got a heart attack on the stage. <laughs> I, I, I go, I go into the director. I say, I'm sorry. What's going on, Juliana? I said, I have no cards. No, you do the fantastic job. <laughs> so, so this is bad experience. It's yeah. I have some, yeah. So a barrison time, but but I can cover very well. Can I can I just say for the viewers at home, when you're working within a production show like Juliana just was. If a magician is a set eight minute act, in that eight minutes behind her curtain, they're changing sets, dancers are changing costumes. So you must stay on stage and you must fill that time. No matter what happens, you have to fill the time because that's the purpose of that act is to fill the time so that they can reset behind you. And so she was brilliant in that she was able to cover and and nobody knew that there had even been a mistake. And the production was able to go on flawlessly and and that's what you need to do as a professional. So uh, just so you understand that in most cases, unless it's your own show, you can't stop. You must stay to the script. You must stay to your timing. You have sometimes theaters that have union houses that you can't go over time, you can't go under time. So it's it's a big discipline to do the correct amount of time and to do exactly what you've been contracted to do. Rudy Colby's Magic Mad Lab Man and the greatest magician on earth were brilliant brand game changers. His look and almost cartoonish superhero style are so distinctive and so recognizable. He continues to wow and stun audiences with his original magic presentations. Rudy worked with Juliana in China last year, and he's here today to provide some insight into that experience. Welcome, Rudy. I'm so pleased to see you, looking fabulous. Hi, thank you very much. You just worked with (laughs) Juliana last year. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about your experience and how it was to work with her? Yeah, it was unbelievable. We did 50 different cities in the biggest theaters um, and really uh, the most technologically, you know, perfect theaters I've ever been in. So, uh, yeah, so Juliana created this show and um, I starred in it with Ed Alonzo and, uh, and a couple other acts and uh, it was fantastic. You know, we did a different city every couple of days and, um, and I did all of my biggest delusions. And yeah, so she was sort of creator and den mother and producer. And Juliana approaches everything from the side of the artist you know mm-hmm. so if if there was um any kind of tension between producer and artist she always was on the artist side because she knows that we kind of know what's best for our acts you know so she was always there to make sure that the lighting and the timing and um you know she was a real taskmaster for them um 
yeah, I mean, you know, I can't, you know, having her backstage, making sure everything worked, you know, I, I don't see how it could have happened any other way, really. The thing is for, for a magician or any performer, when you have an act that you've done for years and years, you want the lighting to be just so, you know, or the, or the music needs to begin on time or needs to end on time. Or, you know, if, in a, if um, a stagehand isn't there to open the curtain on time, they don't realize, sometimes they don't realize that seconds can make it a good show. It's the difference between a standing ovation and a, and a bad show. Whereas, of course, Juliana understands that because she gets a standing ovation every show, unlike most of us. But um, it's, it's all about the details. Exactly. So um, having her around is great. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Rudy. And we look you. forward to seeing you perform sometime in the near future. One can hope. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yes. Every magician, you should have one or two small tricks stand by, put in the pocket or put in somewhere. I'll give you an example, in Shanghai Magic Convention, um, the one of the illusions, you know, which I love it. I love uh, Brie Daniels yes. used to be, the, his, I think for illusions, he's uh, my hero. It's, um, he's, uh, he's beautiful. Yeah, Brie Daniels. So Brad and um, he doing a fan, you know, um, Marilyn Monroe and the, then the fan, big fan through to the fan and the, then the fan is broken. So, Brad Daniels, the fan is broken, that's his closing act. What Brad Daniels did, and bring the newspaper routine for close the show. Right. And if you have prepared newspaper for close the show, it's a soft the ending. You can have, you know, half a talking, have a little bit of story. What I mean is everybody, you never know what's going on. All of us have to, do not matter whether female or male or you're a very big star or a small star or a beginner, all of us have a little bit of two or three extra trick yeah. put in the side of stomach. We, we always have done that. Don Wayne and Joni Spina recommended that years ago and I've always had backup tricks. And when we were in Monte right. Carlo, the, for the main show for Prince Renyar, the, uh, the technicians set off a prop and the boys came out with my little kiss card trick. I said, how many minutes? They said two and a half. And I pulled a little boy out of the audience and did the routine. And um, then, when it, then we continued back where we were and everything went smoothly. And it's only because we had that special trick on the wings and the boys knew that if something went wrong I could cover two and a half three minutes whatever they needed me to do with talking or without talking and it's vital to any any performer to have those backups because then it shows you're a professional and it also just um, allows everybody to calmly fix what they need to fix backstage. It's really today even today I have a social media you have so many young stars I think that the young stars you looking for the old magician, watch everybody, good, bad, watch it. You learn. can not. Mm. Yeah, learn from, from everything. The exactly. You like him, what you great do. Magicians, like. Great magicians, yeah. great, great magicians. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and learn what works and what doesn't work and why, and could it apply to today or not, you know, and, and why. So yeah, you can, there's a lot to be said and to be learned from going back and watching the classics and watching people that perform before you. Yeah. I think. You really look beautiful. I love the collar. You look just so smart. It's beautiful. Yeah. Bye -bye. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Juliana. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. Remember to subscribe and comment below.